Die, pig! You don't belong in this world! Get over here, pig! There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Die! Yeah, there we go. Run! Oh! oh, oh. Ah! Ow! <laughs> wow, they do a heart apiece. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I may die. I may die. I may die. Oh, no! Oh. You're fine. <laughs> I didn't know they did that much damage. <laughs> wow. Go away. <laughs> Clean yourself. Hey, guys and gals. I'm Pal. And, and this I'm is Nova. Nova. And welcome back to Pal's Play Wind Waker. When we last left off, we escaped the Forsaken Fortress, or rather, we were literally thrown out. And we were rescued by a topping, topping, talking boat. This is the King of Red Lions. And he wants us to get a sail. So that's what we're going to be doing this time. So it all starts with us walking this way and going into the town because the town has sails in it. I'm guessing. Uh -oh. oh, oh, if you please, young boy there, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. <laughs> I'm with Link on this. Uh, no. But Nova probably wants well, to hear it. maybe he'll give us something if we say yes. A poor man. Oh, 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 oh. my sweet, sweet daughter. My only daughter. Poor Maggie. Okay, I'm just creeped out by this guy. He's super creepy. <laughs> She's captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Why, well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't give you a single rupee, you know? Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg of you, here I stand, begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh yes, pay. He looks like a zombie. Creepy man. So, uh, such a creepy man. Ugh, gross. Alright, well, from experience, because most of this game is autonom autonomous? Yeah, autonomous for us. The sale is over here. With this guy, whose name is Nova Zunari. Zunari, my story is a strange one. He reminds me of Tom Nook for some odd reason. He kind of does. Like I've always felt that, but I never actually said it. My story is a strange one. I came across a cursed, cursed seas from a land far away, a land where the blizzards blow violently. Heading for this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously. Only that escaped without... Oh, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are a traveler as well. Oh yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It is my one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that. Despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg of you. I wish to open a business here in this town. So I am in a desperate need of finances. So how does 80 rupees sound? Um. <laughs> um, he doesn't even told us what it is. We'll buy that. Hopefully it's nothing illegal. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master. As I promised, please take that. A punch in the face? What? Oh, a sale. Yay. Well, that was easy. Doop it doop it doop boop. We got the sale. Yes, yes, yes. You have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sale in the world. Treat it as such. Seriously, I don't get why the Zelda series always has to put things in different colors. Like, it's just kind of weird. so you pay attention to significant things. I mean, but I, I would think if you have any sort of intelligence, you would do that. Anyway. Yeah. Alright, now, before we leave, since we have a sale, so we, by all rights, can leave, uh, I would like to go over here, because besides there being a pig over here, there's a guy. This is Tot, also known as the Elvis wannabe, who has an affinity for dancing in front of graves. 
Very That's not creepy. a grave. What is it? It's, Look at it. It is a grave. That's a grave. Mm. Oh, 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 no, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Oh dear, pardon me, pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I am taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. That's quite the title. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two. Say, guy, you know, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm guy? No. <laughs> Bye! Creep! <laughs> we'll remember him for later. Actually, not just later, we'll remember him for the rest of our lives. Good old tot. Speaking of odd characters, we'll remember this one as well. Oh man. Guess who? The infamous... Tingle. Oh no, Tingle. Tingle. He haunts my dreams. Hmm, what voice should I give him? Creepy or stupid? So it, it has to sound like Kulu Limpa. Oh. I see the same green clothes and the same green hat. By the look of you, I'd say, Sir, must you by chance be a fairy? Goodness! Did you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry. Tingle knows without you telling him. Sir. Yes, sir. Tingle is my name, and I've been looking for you and your kind, for I, too, long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet, I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful! Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where you and your kind lived in splendor. <laughs> What's up with the sound when he walks? That... What is up with this character? <laughs> Seriously. What has science done? Okay, well, we're, let's do what he asks and... Get this pot out of the way. And step on the switch. And free this lunatic from his insane asylum prison. Creepy. Creepy man. What was he in prison for anyway? Yay! Murder. <laughs> Mass murder. <laughs> Hooray! Thank you so, oh so very much. I'm actually thinking voice cracks would be <laughs> the good voice for him, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that would get annoying for the, the viewers, bless their hearts. Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Ah, loop. Put it. <laughs> oh, well, I guess he says it himself. Uh, tingle, tingle, kululamp, limpa, become an item. He gave you the tingle tuner. If you get stuck or need a quick hint, connect the Game Boy Advance to your Nintendo GameCube and talk to Tingle. After connecting the Game Boy Advance to controller socket two, three, or four, set the tingle tuner to Y, Z, or X to call Tingle. That's that's my instruction voice. Now, no matter how far we tra- oh wait, this is his voice. Now, no matter how far we travel from this dingy cell- <laughs> It's western all of a sudden. Our, our souls will be as one. Splendid! Tingle's going to get ready to go to the realm of the fairies, so you just wait here, okay sir? Ah, I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, do you want to come to my island? You want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> Creepy is more his way. You got Tingle's chart. What kind of a chart it could be? Head out to sea, then press up on the D-pad to check your charts and find out. When you go out to sea, open it. His voice is just going to change all the time. <laughs> if you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. <laughs> If you ever need help with the charts, don't forget it. So that's Tangle, and we'll call him in a second. I would actually like to do this instead because we have an agenda, folks. <laughs> because we're organized. Yeah, and stuff. 
we have an agenda of what we want to get done this episode, and this is one of the things. If you go into his cell, break this crate, we will find a tunnel. And in that tunnel is sort of a maze, but also not really a maze. I mean, it's pretty easy to tell when you're at a dead end. I think there's one, yeah, there's one right there. You see that wood on the left? If we were to turn left there, um, it would lead us into a, a rat. Trap. Yeah, there's a rat with a trap. No, 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 I didn't mean to go that way. Uh, there, <laughs> this is really confusing. Turn this way, there we go. It will lead us to a rat with a trap and he will drop us out uh, where the King of Red Lions is, oddly enough. So, and then you have to start over. So we just wanna go this way, all the way this way and take a right here. It's pretty much impossible to get lost in this area. You just keep well, keep going this way. We have it memorized because we spent a lot of time in here at one point. Yeah, but you don't even need to get it memorized. Just don't go backwards and don't go in the traps and you should be good. In fact, I believe we're at the end of the tunnel? Pretty close. Yeah, there we are. It's really easy. But this is what makes me think that Tingle's some sort of murderer. Because he was imprisoned. Well, read the rocks first. And this is in here. So creepy. At last, I have succeeded in stealing the Picto Box I have desired for so long. Succeeded, yes, but sadly. Due to a slight mistake on my part, I was also caught. I might- I have been in prison, but I do not give in easily. I refuse to give this wondering- wondrous box to my captors. Oops. I <laughs> have- I have decided to hide it in here in the depths of my cell and make my escape by tunneling out. Yes, that is my plan. Why okay. didn't he take it with him? Now this now this one. Of course, if I ever successfully escape from this prison, I shall one day return to recover the Picto Box. I shall write the controls for it in case I should forget them. Set it to X, Y, or Z on the item screen, press A to snapshots, use the C stick. It's basically just the controls of the telescope. Yeah, it really except is. you use R to look at the pictures you've taken. Yeah. It saves up to three pictographs at one time. Uh, oh, how it pains me to leave it. I just wish I could get out of here so I could start taking photographs. I thought it, he actually signed it Tingle, but I guess it may not be Tingle. But I don't think so, because... Ignoring the elephant in the it, room, there's a chest here. Go ahead. It seems like it's been there for a while. Yeah. And the guy escaped. Tingle didn't. True. This is true. You got the Picto Box. Set it to and use it with the stuff. We just got those directions. So, if we do this, we can take pictures. Now, what do the pictures do? Uh, there's this one part in the game where there's like this underground bunker. And when you go in the underground bunker, you can submit pictures of different characters and enemies you find in the game. And you can submit those and get sculptures or statues? Sculptures? Sculptures. Sculptures made of them. And those sculptures do absolutely nothing. Yeah, they just go into a collection. You can look at them. Yeah. But they're pretty much pointless. Yeah, and the easy way out, out of course, is just to take the rope and drop yourself off. So, yeah, uh, then there's one more thing I would like to do. Oh, boy. Oh, that look in your eye. So, you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then. Then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hole and press A to climb aboard. S set the sail you've got to use the same button. It'll catch the wind and use the drag. I'll, I'll, I will explain this when it happens. Yes, I do. When you're out of, out of the sea with few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place which we should currently be heading on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, simply press up on the d-pad to open the chart and confirm your position. Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let it carry us to the east. Uh, just, just a moment, pal. There's One more thing before we go. Yeah, and Nova will explain that thing since I've been reading text this whole time. Nova, okay. what are we doing? Okay, we're gonna go to a little... Oh, not him again. I can, I can skip this. It's okay. Fine. We're going to go to the center of town where there's a little game shop and we're gonna play the Nintendo version of Battleship to get a heart piece. Yes, and this this is the last thing we want to do in this area. There are a bunch of other things to do here. Or, excuse me, I misspoke. We're going to get a pizza heart. Oh my goodness, that joke. <laughs> uh, where do I go again for this? Is it up here? No. Where is Turn it? Turn around. Turn go around. Up the stairs. Up the and stairs. And on the left, on into the, the windmill. Left? The bottom of the windmill. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Okay. I, like I said, fell. Nova is the one who has played this game more often than I, so she's she's a little bit more more well versed in this. 
And I've also spent a good deal of time playing this mini game, so. Yeah, so we should be good. Hey, hey welcome and stuff. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. You want to play or what? Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, then, uh, ahem. <clears throat> Welcome to the sea fleet. I am the great Admiral Duvosky. Look sharp, for we are the sole so protectors of this land. Admiral, red alert. All hands on deck. He's a great character. <laughs> Sonar shows that schools of deadly di giant squid are approaching. All ships prepare for battle. What? There? Ah, huh, I see. The stuff which I skipped. There are sea squid groups, a large one, a medium one, and a small one. If he allows them to come any closer, these children on the island will be in wave, jave, jave, danger. <laughs> Say lo, take command of our new radar system to seek out and sink all of these fiendishly hidden enemies. But be warned, you have only 24 cannonballs that ye can fire. I don't know why I put a ye in there, but I don't know. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must score four direct hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Use the thing to use the thing and do controls because you do not know how to play video game. May your aim be true. That is all. That is all the instructions you need. Is that clear, sailor? I'm tempted to say what's going on just to have him repeat that. No. <laughs> but. Don't. Aye, aye, sir. Excellent. So far, our best sailor has managed to destroy all of the giant squids using only 20 cannonballs. May you fight this bravely. Okay, so. <laughs> that voice. I, wait, don't do anything yet. I think we have to get a pretty good score on this to get the heart piece. I'm pretty sure we have to get it perfect. So. Boosh! Beesh. Beesh. Meesh. Kaboom. Kaboom. I love his voice. <laughs> no, but you're not talking. Beesh. Wait, what? Oh. Kaboom. 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 Yeah, right. we sunk one. So now we have the Beesh. two and the four left. Beesh. I'm just kind of throwing Kaboom. stuff. Oh, we got one. I'm guessing it's up. Beesh. Nope. Kaboom. Kaboom. We There's got. The okay. One. Now the the large ones left? Yes, now be careful because you don't have many shots left. Okay, I, I can kind of cross analyze it by being like, okay, if if I shoot here Okay, sorta of like the I don't know. Um it can't be between here. Nope. It could be between here. It's not. It Far left. Can't Far be left. here. It could be here. Um it could be here. No. Nope. Oh boy. I'm getting kind of worried here. Um, here? Oh boy. Um. Could be here. Okay. It could be there. No, no. The row, ab one there. row above the bottom. This? Yeah. You want me to hit, hit here? Yeah, that's a right about in the middle. Right there, yeah. Here's the thing. I could shoot it here, and if it's vertical, I'll hit it. If it's horizontal, I might hit it. Okay. I'm gonna try that. Yes! All right. Okay, now we have to guess. That's This is horrible. Is it vertical or horizontal? We have one miss available to us. Um. So we have to be intelligent about this. Yeah. Go for... Here. I'm saying here. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, no. I'm gonna do it here. It, now, does, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It, well, actually, no, it does. It does. It completely does. Because if it's right here to here... Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, so it's vertical. It's vertical. Oh, boy. There's another gamble we'll have to do. Oh, man. Yeah? Oh, wait, no, no. We, there's no gamble here. Derp. Oh, wait, no! There was a gamble! <laughs> no! We were one short! Ah... Oh. And anyway, we couldn't have beaten the high score anyway. Eh, uh, bad news, eh, uh, sailor. Oh, wait, he doesn't have an accent. The enemies have retreated or something. It's 10 rupees per vein for kids. You want to try again? Yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll cut to the successful attempt, since that was all of the game we really need to show. Here? It could be anywhere. That's the problem. Oh, nope, nope. Right. Got it. Yeah! With three to spare. That's actually not nice. that hard. Yeah! 
Excellent work, sailor. Your deeds have successfully protected the, the peace on this fair island. We are uh, very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, sailor. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Oh, thank you, Mr. Sailor. <laughs> Please take this piece of heart, son of a gander. Some enunciation would be helpful. <laughs> They're children. They don't know how to talk yet. <laughs> we got a piece of heart. Yay. So, uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you all which one is better for me. Don't do stuff. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> for how bored he seems, he sure puts in a lot of effort into the accent. Yeah, now I'm actually going to do this again because we'll get a treasure chart f out of it. And while I'm not going for 100% on treasure charts, I would kind of like to get it. Okay. So, we'll do- I'm going to do that completely off screen. Finally! That actually took a lot of tries to do. Like, my word. There- there was one where I literally did not hit the su- the- well, the squids at all. That was incredible. Excellent work, sailor! Your de- uh, you know what, I read this already. <laughs> I'll read this again. <laughs> That's my kid's voice. Okay, let's- Oh, there's there's a new thing. This is our thanks to you. It has been passed down to on our island for many years, so don't tell the village elder, okay? Here, please accept uh -huh. this treasure chart. That's new text, actually. There is the treasure chart, which gives something. Awesome. Well, you know, we might have needed this for a heart piece, but I am not sure. Uh, Vita Sec, 16? Hey, that is the new- Oh, wait, it's his boring voice. Yeah. Oh, you get this too. Wait, what? I know oh. you can do that. Awesome. Okay. So thanks for playing. I think we just cleaned them out. Yeah, I think we did. That's all awesome. Prizes. Also, this this has taken longer than I expected it to take this episode, but that's that's fine. That's how stuff goes. Mm -hmm. But now that we've done that, we can leave the island. I've gotten everything I wanted to get, so we can talk Oops. to him. Uh, yes, it's a little cozy, so to speak, but people from all over the world come here. The town's always lively. Haha. <laughs> Why, just walking around and having a look at things is quite fun. That's the mark of a great town. Yep. That is yeah. true. Okay, uh, I would like to equip the Tingle Tuner so we can show off what it does. Let's go. Okay, uh, to use the Tingle Tuner, we need to do this. Press X to take it out. Would you like to call Tingle? Yes. Is your Game Boy on? Uh-huh. So we have a Game Boy hooked into the Wii, since we're using Wii for this Let's Play. And now I'm calling Tingle. And here we go. Is it showing up? Uh-huh. Now, unfortunately, I cannot display the the display of the Game Boy itself, uh, but I can tell you what it essentially does. Calling Tingle allows him to essentially be the navy of this game, or fee, I guess, um, where he can, he can give you tips on different enemies, and he can help you uh, by having a second player. And he can locate hidden objects, bomb enemies for you, you can even do some secret stuff that only he can do, which is pretty cool. There are some chests that are hidden throughout the game that only Tingle can grab, which is actually pretty neat. But that that goes into the theme of this Let's Play. Since, it's go since it is co-op, and we only have one person controlling Lincoln episode, one the other person is going to be controlling Tingle. So now it's pretty much two-player. Yeah, it's essentially two-player. So the, the, the co-commentator can help out, which is pretty neat. Mm-hmm. Now, we don't have much time this episode. Oh, oh, but real quick, sidetracking. If we go through these barrels, sometimes they'll appear on the way. Uh, this rupee mini game will show up where you can get different rupees from these different barrels. And it's actually pretty neat. Hey, pal, you know what else Tingle can do? What? Hold on a second. Okay. No, what, why'd you do that? You just quit me out of the game. Nope. Ah, Nova. <laughs> you just quit me out of like 30 rupees. It would. It goes much farther than the island. I know, but I would have gotten rupees. <laughs> Nova. Well, that's what Tingle's going to be doing this let's play. Pretty much. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Tingle thing? But anyway, uh, we don't have much time this episode, and we're not going to be going as far as our destination, which is that island. We, instead, we're going to be dropping by this island, which is Pawprint Isle. Not only does it have a ton of grass to cut, but it also has this dome. And going. We never did figure out what that was. Put away your stuff, Link. We can go inside this dome by crawling, and there's a hole down here, which is pretty neat. Talk more. 
And this cave is actually one of my favorite areas in the game. Yeah. It's just really serene, but it's also strange because you see stuff that aren't anywhere else. These mushrooms, for one. I don't think those are mushrooms. Oh, and then there are these enemies. These are red choo-choos. The first non boxblin enemies we've encountered in the game. Well, and Moblin, I guess. But the ones we could kill. And they drop red choo-choo jelly. Man, this is actually a really good place to stop, to explain stuff. Yeah, you want to you wanna save these wherever you find them, because they'll come in handy later. As, as a child, I always like to imagine that it tasted like some sort of mint or something. So, this was, uh, I believe, spearmint. I mean, it just looks really delicious for some reason. Because it's so like shiny. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. So we can kill these, but that's not why we're here. We are here because there is yet another... Is it up here? No. We can't... It's over this way. Uh -oh. Or is it not? Are all of oh, the it's another way. It, it's blocked? this way. No, no, no. No, I know you can get it. Here it is. Down this tunnel is... A chest which contains the second piece of heart of, in the game. So uh, we already have two. So we just need two more to complete a uh, new heart container. And later on, we can come back to Paw Print Isle. Wait, what? what? We've collected three? Yeah. We got the one at the mini game and one from Oh, game. I forgot. I anyway, forgot we did that. Later on, we can come back to Paw Print Isle when we have more items at our disposal and we can go down those tunnels that are blocked. Yeah, so it's it's an area for later, but the heart piece is still here, so we only need one more to complete a heart container. And another thing to add is that when you go into smaller dungeon-like areas, such as this one, uh, the Game Boy, when you're connected to the Tingle Tuner, will say, please wait. There's nothing Tingle can do while you're underground. In my opinion, it's kind of lame. Like, why do they even do that? Well, but, mm. if you think about it, Tingle is following Link on his little red balloon. Oh, yeah, that's true. So he's up in the sky. What can he do in a tunnel? This is true, but he's also in dungeons with you, which is odd. But whatever. Tingle's strange, and we shouldn't question him. Uh, but anyway... Oh, wait, where am I going? That's actually the reason why... Well, the, one of the major reasons why we decided to use the original version of Wind Waker. I wanted to do the HD version because I, I want to see, feel the differences for myself. But Tingle is unfortunately not in that version. How would they have done that anyway? The gamepad. It would have been really easy. Mm. Like, it would have been super easy, and they probably could have added a lot of stuff to make it a true two-player game. But they took the easy way out. T the Tingle Tuner is instead replaced by the Tingle Bottle, which links Wind Waker to Miiverse. What? really lame in my opinion. They could have gone so far with the with the Tingle Tuner in that game, but they didn't. And that's why we're not playing it here. To reach Dragon Roost Island, head east from here. It's actually pretty useful. But that is unfortunately going to be it for this time. Yeah. Uh, I, we just, oh, whoa. Hey, there's a choo-choo here. It's a choo-choo head. I forgot about mm. that. That's pretty cool. But if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like, and if you didn't enjoy it, then leave a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. And next time in Wind Waker, we will be heading over. Camera, cooperate. Where is it? Where? Behind you. Where? Where to go? That way. There it is. We'll be going there to the giant stack thing. We might, be, we might drop by that thing as well. But because, that'll be next because episode. Because those things are always fun. Yeah. We'll we'll explain stuff next episode. The tutorialness of the episodes is almost over. Thank goodness. Then Nova will get to talk. And also text is ending, so yeah. I release new episodes of Wind Waker. Also, my outros are too long. <laughs> That's another thing I'm all, all I'm gonna have to change. I release new episodes of Wind Waker, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and we'll see you guys next time for another Pals Play Wind Waker. See ya.